it's really early, but I do not know what that is. Pretty cool looking. I wonder. I don't know. Kind of makes you question if it's like an old foreign car. Or if it's. Or what it is. Volvo. Wow. It was kind of unfortunate last night. Um, went out and stayed out at McCormick for a while. Went up and down O Street. There really wasn't that many people out and it really wasn't that cold. Um, I don't know if it just the way the sky looked, people didn't want to be out there or not, but I know tonight it's supposed to be really nice. So I'm hoping, I am really hoping that I will catch some street racing tonight because it's getting to the point where it's going to be too cold and I won't really be catching a lot of street racing. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff with the Honda so and crazy stuff down to i was thinking something like go out and have fun mudding it or uh drifting it i hope the snow it's gonna be fun burnouts me doing all kinds of stuff with this little honda so um also build updates and uh upgrades that i'm gonna be doing the, to this real soon also then you know the wrap that I talked about so there's a lot of things that I could do to this car that you know could keep my channel alive during the winter and I'll try to do everything that I can maybe go looking for a truck you know and I can add a truck to the channel I had one before and uh, really miss it but you know I would like to, to add a, a four-wheel drive to the channel eventually so we'll see what happens but I'm just grabbing lunch. I'm on uh, lunch right now for work, and after work gets off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out to McCormick, head up and down O Street, and see if I can catch some street racing. So if I have anything more interesting going on, I will for sure show you guys, but this is all I got for now. So we'll see ya. What's going on guys? So basically, I was at work today and uh, one of our technicians didn't show up so we've been super busy trying to catch back up and I was kind of in a hurry doing some tires and I turned around to walk towards uh, the wheel weights and I stepped on a tire patch plug. Well, these patch plugs um, the rubber part of the plug that comes out of the patch has a metal shroud around it that's super, super sharp. And uh, I basically stepped on it, went right through my shoe and right into my foot. Probably a good inch, I would say, probably even further. Man, did it hurt. Um, that's one reason why you need to wear thick shoes when you're at work. And today I didn't have my thick shoes, so I'm kind of paying for it. do this so today what we've got going on is I'm gonna run down to the local scrapyard and see if I can find any new Hondas out there um, I already have a separate head for this Honda now and I'm gonna end up rebuilding that and putting it back onto this car right now I'm just running a, a standard secondary head and uh, over the winter I'm gonna be in the process of finding extra parts here and there for the Honda and buying a rebuild kit for the engine itself um, like the piston rings and thing rods main bearings all that kind of stuff I, I guess not rods but it would be the, the actual piston rod itself so we're gonna run up to the, the scrapyard and see what we can find so here we go
sketchy as fuck. I don't really want to go much faster than that on this road. Mexico has some really, really shitty fucking roads. Here's a little red Honda, or a little black Honda. I don't know why I said red. Freaking weirdo. Here we go. If it ain't fucking broken, of course it is. I need one badly. Is it a stick? Yeah, and it's fucking gone. Damn it. Interior is just gutted. Not much left. Wheel cylinder's gone. Hmm. Hmm. I think there's something missing here. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of looks like there's something missing. Not quite sure. Maybe it's these, yeah. These cut wires. That's what it is. Here's the one I got the head off of. You can tell this one has been running fucking nasty as fuck. Could take the air box. Look at this one. Looks like someone went mudding with it. That's hilarious. Oh, it's sending the car off. Might as well go mud. <laughs> Damn. Three point one, that's where they belong anyways here. This one looks like it got mud on it too. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting over here in the Chevys. The GMs. And there's something missing on this one. Huh. Not quite sure what it is. Oh yeah, it's a nitrous meth injection tank. It's not hooked up. That was the problem. Right there. I don't know, I think I see a fox body, but maybe not. Is that a fox body? Right at the end? Oh shit. It's got the six cylinder with a four cylinder. And it's on him. Looks like a rat took care of it. That and something built up on it. 1992. Locked. Door don't open. Yeah. Trust me, it's crap. Ooh. That's the or almost like the orange of Street Speed 717's from McLaren. Take this home. It's one of those sequential shifters. Look at that. It'll go 180 miles an hour. It says it right on the dash. Weight reduction, no T-top. This looks like it's broken. Probably shouldn't do that. I'll end up with a broken hand. Rally sport. 
a long ass way to the front. It's crazy. I love coming to junkyards because there's so much potential. If you actually know what you're looking for. Tall grass is nice. All the dodges. I had a manager that had one of those. not finding a whole lot out here. I was hoping I'd find a little more Camaros, but you know, that's kind of how it is. A couple Tahoes, so I'm not going to one. That one right there, that's a Yukon, but it's a funny rabbit. Same, same damn thing. I'm trying to see if there's inter anything interesting out here, and it, it's not seeming like that. So, I ended up doing some other things today. Uh, not bad. Look at that. Break the bed sticker. That's great. Oh, GTO passed them.